Hi, so in this particular video we're being asked to solve the simultaneous equations and what we've got here is the equation of a straight line which is this one here and then the equation of a circle which is this one here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the first equation and say well actually if 3x plus y equals 8 then it's also fair enough to say that y equals 8 minus 3x. It's exactly the same as this uh, formula over here or this equation over here and then we're going to take that uh, y value and we're going to put it into the second equation. So if I rewrite the second equation what I actually end up with is 3x squared plus and rather than writing y squared I'm going to write x minus 3x squared. So if I put that in brackets I get 8 minus 3x squared and that all equals 28 and then really it's just a case of expanding this particular equation and solving it for x so if i take this equation out here i'm going to get x minus 3x times 8 minus 3x and that equals 28. Okay, so it's going to take a little bit of time to work through, but hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing here is I'm just working these through so that I get um, all of the different terms multiplied by each other. It's actually very difficult to do and talk at the same time, so hopefully I'm going to be okay with what I've done so far. Alrighty, then I'm going to just really collate everything together and what they call gather the like terms. So I've got 3x squared and 9x squared there. Well, if I put those two together, I'm going to get 12x squared. And then I'm also going to get minus 24x and minus 24x. That's going to give me minus 48x. Now, actually, at this point, I'm feeling a little bit more confident because I know that 48 and 12, uh, well, 48 is in the 12 times table. So it looks like we're heading in the right direction. Um, so if I bring this 28 over towards this side, I've got positive 64 minus 28. And don't forget whenever you're trying to factorize anything you always want to make sure that it equals zero otherwise you won't be able to factorize it now if i see that what it means then i've got two uh, i beg your pardon i've got three multiples of the 12 times table so i can divide through by 12 and that's going to give me a very neat x squared minus 4x plus 3 equals 0. And then that will factorise out very, very simply at x minus 3 and x minus 1 equals 0. So therefore, I've got my two values of x, one of which is where x equals 1. Don't forget, if I put my finger over there, I've got x minus 1 equals 0. Similarly, I've got x minus 3 equals 0, so x equals 1 and x equals 3. And then really it's just a case of taking those two values of x and popping them back into probably the easiest one is going to be this equation here. So when x equals 1, well y is going to equal 8 minus 3x, so y is going to be equal to 5. So one of my... Um, coordinates where these two um, equations will cross each other on a graph is going to be 1 and 5. And then the other one is where x equals 3, y equals 8 minus 3 times x. So that's going to be y equals 8 minus 9 or y equals minus 1. So the other value is going to be 3 minus 1. And that's the answer to this particular question. Appreciate it's taken a little bit of time to work through. Hope you found it useful. Please do subscribe to the site and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.